Welcome back to my channel Conquer the Fear. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the microservice design pattern that is Saga design pattern. Uh, this is one of the most frequently asked interview questions. So, in real world, when you are segregating your application and when you are dealing with uh, distributed transaction, we make use of Saga design pattern. Okay, and Saga design pattern has got two different uh, uh, types. We will discuss that in this particular video. Okay, we will also give you an example of an e commerce application how this particular flow works. On. So, please stay the, back with the video and watch the video till the end. Now, Saga design pattern is nothing but a sequence of local transaction. Okay, so uh, whenever your each service is going to perform uh, any transaction, it is going to publish certain event or send a some certain command to uh, do the next set of uh, transactions. Okay, so each uh, service is, is going to you know perform the local transaction. It is event, publishing the event or either going to call next service. So if there is something which is going to fail, right? So it is going to issue an another action that is called as a compensating action or either you can call it as a rollback which will be triggered up now there are two types of saga design pattern so one is choreography based design pattern so i have given a full video on what exactly the saga uh, saga's choreography design pattern is about it is basically an each service is going to listen to a certain uh, event and then it is going to perform its next set of action where there will be a no central coordinator or a mediator okay so each service is going to perform as an action and then it is going to trigger some event now orchestration is about uh, uh, opposite of that choreography where there will be one central service as which will be called as an orchestrator which tells us what to do and when to do okay so it is it uh, it is going to you know take part in you know controlling the other transaction whether the service uh, uh, other service has failed to do or it has got success is right based on then it is going to roll back or you know do the next set of steps now uh, why orchestration because it has got a clear cut control of the flow it is easier to implement because when there is an issue then we can actually issue a compensating transaction or action and there is also a centralized way where you can handle your error handling and you can monitor okay but only the uh, pro calls, pros or I mean say cons about is that there is a single point of coordination. So if this this can also become a bottleneck if it is not properly managed. Now we'll take an example of the orchestration based saga design pattern with an e-commerce uh, order processing. Now if you see here, there is an e-commerce application where it, the flow would be the order would be created first or the, the order would be accepted by the order service. And then it is going to perform uh, the next set of action that is the uh, the payment service so uh, uh, so there will be a saga uh, orchestrator uh, centrally so you can think of it as an uh, mediator where this is going to perform the next set of action the first it will call this payment service it will process that then it is going to call the inventory service and then ultimately it is going to call the shipping service now if you see here these are all called in a sequence okay first payment then after everything is complete then the uh, inventory and then the shipping okay so ultimately this uh, saga orchestrator is controlling the every process and the next set of action which it needs to perform okay so all of this needs to success in order to have this complete set of transaction completed if there is any failure in between then the previous action let's say the payment service is completed but the inventory service has failed right so the payment service also has to roll back and the whole transaction will be uh, rolled back so there will be a compensating transaction issued for it okay so diagrammatically i have shown you how it is going to uh, perform the action now we will look into exactly the each uh, service level details now uh, in order service when we receive some order request or let's say uh, some order is placed right so we have to call the or uh, that is saga orchestrator that is the mediator where we might, we might be placing some order etc so it will take the order request it is going to place the order and then it is going to return the order is successfully placed up okay so this is how you are going to place the order and the next set of action will be taken up okay now if you see the orchestrator this is going to maintain your state okay so the, this can be either be a standalone service or this can be a part of your order service itself okay so that can be designed uh, by the architecture team 
and also based on the pros and cons you can decide the architecture and the infrastructure of that now this each of this services will be sequentially called by this particular orchestrator now uh, if there is a success if, if there is a failure it is going to handle it and if there is any uh, failure it is going to initiate a compensation action okay so the saga design pattern will start from in this particular method where will first if you see in the tri block first it will call the payment processing second it will once it is completed and successful it is calling the reserve items of inventory service once this is completed it is going to call the shipping service shipping order okay so once everything is completed the order which was there it show it will be complete okay if any of this particular thing is getting failed up or there is any other uh, uh, issue so then in the catch block if you see there is a compensating order triggered now in compensating order what you will see the shipping service will cancel the shipment the inventory service will release the item and the payment which has been debited has been refunded okay and ultimately the order service will be cancelled okay so the ultimate thing will be cancelled up so this is where the central coordinator will work okay now in each of this particular payment service once that particular each of the service will call there will be a logic to accept that payment and then you know return successful okay so this is the payment service okay everything is working then it will return successful uh, the other service that is inventory service similarly it will reserve the items and then it is going to law there will be a logic return for the reserve service and then it is going to return the item reserve next comes the shipping service so it is going to take the shipping order details and other requests and then it is going to perform the logic of uh, shipping items okay and then it is ultimately going to return the shipping initiated process now let's say there is some failure scenario or something concentrated so let's say the payment has failed so it will stop the process there will nothing as a compensation but it will the inventory has failed it will the payment will be the failure thing over there and the amount will be refunded over here now shipping failed then there will be in the inventory will be reserved and then the release entry and the refund amount will be compensated over here okay so this is how it will be done now the state of management you can maintain is that in the uh, there will be a saga state in, where you can maintain it in the database table okay so it will be maintained as a separate db table so where you can track the transaction id what is the current step what is the current status and other details so you can create an entity around it and then you can play around with that particular request status uh, saga steps okay so where will be the status like you know pending completed or there is a failure right you can keep this simple three steps now what are the tools for enhancement we can use kafka for you know the orchestration so whenever you are doing any event driven architecture or you want to publish certain events kafka or the revit mq are the most reliable way to use this particular services now you can make use of the axon framework or the command if you there is a workflow uh, needed like the bpm process okay and you can use the resilience 4j where there is an uh, you can have an implementation of a circuit design circuit breaker design pattern and also you can have some retry mechanism implemented in it now implementing the distributed transaction we can make use of this zipkin or either slate okay so you can make use of this particular tools for improved uh, microservice saga design pattern now you can test it by using the unit test cases for each of this particular separately each services now there can be an integration testing which can actually test your entire success flow and failure flow of each of this particular service paths now this can be uh, you know random failure so you can actually test the choice testing which is called a random failure test so you can simulate that or you can replicate that particular scenario uh, summary wise if you see the control flow is called the central orchestration now the communication can either be done with the rest or either kafka so it can be based on your service and the uh, architecture design error handling as you already know it is centrally handled over there now we can actually uh, uh, the compensating action are quite easy we can initiate it if there is a failure now uh, the use case can be uh, perfect for like you know order flow or there is an a clear you know rollback logic which can be written over here okay i hope this particular video is very helpful to you also if this video was helpful please share this video with the needy people also i was i was uh, i hope like i was able to explain you the uh, orchestration saga design pattern in a clear and a better way okay
if this video was helpful please share this video with the needy people also don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you thank you for watching